What's going on everybody? My name is Justin Conroy and in this video we're going to talk about how to link a bank account to Fidelity. Let's get straight to it. First thing we're going to do is log into our Fidelity account, type our username and password, click the login button. So once you log in, you're going to see the home page. Now, there's a couple of different ways to get to where we need to be, but the way that I'm going to show you is using the account and trade menu up at the top left. So go there and click account and trade. You're going to get a big list of options, but the one we want is called transfers. Click that. Now from the transfers page, you can see we have many options, but the one you're going to want is in the middle and it's called manage bank accounts. Now, if you're like me, this account is brand new and so you don't have any accounts linked. So you're going to see a page that says currently your Fidelity accounts are not linked to any bank accounts. That's okay. So of course we want to click the button in blue. It says link a new bank account. Now, as you would expect when dealing with any sort of bank transaction, we're going to want to re-verify our security, make sure that you are who you say you are. So we're going to need to do a two-step verification here. I'm going to go ahead and have them send me a text message so that I can actually do what I need to do here. So click the next button, have them send a text message and any second it'll come through. Well, there it is. All right. So we're just going to type in that number here. Now, once we're through the security steps, we'll be able to link up a new bank account. First question is what transfer type would you like to enable for this account? There's two options. We have electronic funds transfer, that's EFT, and that's where you can deposit and withdraw money from Fidelity, and this is free. Or we have bank wire, and that's where you can only withdraw money from Fidelity, and some fees may actually apply. If we click on the expansion for important details, you can see a little bit more information here. Basically, Fidelity does not charge you for any fees when sending money via bank wire, but the receiving bank may actually charge a fee. So in this case, what I would recommend in almost all cases is to use the EFT, use the electronic funds transfer method, it's free, and it allows you to go both ways pretty easily. This is what I'm going to go with. Next question is going to be, which account would you like to link the bank to? In my case, I only have one Fidelity account, so that's what's chosen already. You may need to select something different. The next question is select the bank account you'd like to link. And so for this, we're going to need to link a new bank account. It's the only option I have. And in this case, we're going to get a few questions about the bank so that we can link everything up. First, it's going to ask us whether or not we're the owner or if someone else is the owner. In my case, I'm the owner, so that's what I'm going to go with. We're going to select the account type checking or brokerage, savings or business. In my case, this is a checking account. And then we're gonna to need to type in the routing number, the account number, and then the account number again to make sure everything is correct. Once you're good there, you can click agree and continue. Now at that point, your bank account is linked. You can transfer money to your heart's content to or from Fidelity and buy a bunch of stocks and have a good time. If you like quick to the point personal finance content, do me a favor and click the little like button down below. It's a little bit of effort on your end and it helps me out tremendously. I would really appreciate it. Hope this helps. Have a good day, everybody.